Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Dr. Ida Shahram Sarver and under the kind supervision of Professor Dr. Saira Abzal, I will be presenting uh, tetanus today. The quote of the day is, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change Albert Einstein. Learning outlines, introduction, epidemiological triad, chain of transmission, clinical stages, levels of prevention, recent updates. Learning outcome. At the end of this presentation, participants will have a broad overview about deadness, its epidemiological triad, chain of transmission, clinical stages, along with the levels of prevention. Deadness, also known as lockjaw, is a serious disease that can cause breathing problems, muscle spasms, and paralysis. Unlike other vaccine-preventable diseases, deadness does not spread from person to person and enters the body through cuts or puncture wounds. Introduction. An acute disease induced by the exotoxin of Clostridium tetani and clinically characterized by muscular rigidity which persists throughout illness punctuated by painful proximal spasms of the voluntary muscles, especially the masseters, which is why it's also known as the trismus or the lockjaw disease, the facial muscles which causes the smiling appearance, and this is known as the rhizus sardonicus, the muscles of the back and the neck, opsonosis, and those of the lower limbs and abdomen. The mortality tends to be very high, ranging from 40 to 80%. Here you can see through a contaminated puncture wound the Clostridium tetani bacteria enter and then it releases the tetanus neurotoxin. This will result in severe hyperextension and spasticity caused by the neurotoxin. Uh, the triad is as follows. This causes trismus, which is lockjaw, which can be mildly severe, and this is the spasm of the lower jaw. Rises sardonicus, also known as the Sardinian grin, which is a grin caused by the facial muscle spasm, and obstinosis, which is severe simultaneous spasm of all muscles of the body. Problem statement. Tetanus is now a comparatively rare disease in the developed countries of the world, but new natal tetanus is still a killer disease in developing countries. Even with treatment, the case fertility rate can be as high as 80 to 90 percent, and it tends to occur in areas with poor access to health care. The triad is as follows. Uh, the agents include biological, nutritional, physical, chemical, and mechanical environment. There's physical, biological, and social environment. And then hosts include age, sex, genetic, profession, customs, habits, as well as behaviors. Agent factors. Agent clostridium tetani is a gram-positive anaerobic spore-bearing organism. The spores are terminal and give the organism a drumstick, a drumstick appearance. The spores are highly resistant to a number of injurious agents, including boiling, phenol, crystal, and autoclaving for 15 minutes at 120 degrees centigrade. Reservoir of infection. The natural habitat of the organism is soil and dust. The bacilli are found in the intestine of many herbivorous animals, including cattle, horses, goats, sheep, and are excreted in their feces. These spores survive for several years in nature. The bacilli may frequently be found in the intestine of man without causing ill effects. The spores are blown. Spores are blown away in the dust and may occur in a wide variety of situations, including operation theaters. Exotoxin. Tetanus bacilli pro uh, produce a soluble exotoxin. It has an astounding lethal toxicity, exceeded only by the botanium toxin, the lethal dose per 70 per 70 kg man is about 0 0.1 milligram. The toxin acts on four areas of the nervous system which include uh, the motor end plates in the skeletal system, the spinal cord, brain, and the sympathetic system. The principal action is to block inhibition of spinal reflexes. The period of communicability is none as it's not transmitted from person to person. Some of the symptoms as seen in this picture include fever, high blood pressure, muscle spasms, lockjaw, sweating, as well as difficulty swallowing. Post factors. Age. Commonly, tetanus is a disease of the active age group, which means it occurs between 5 to 40 years of age. The, this period predisposes to all kinds of trauma, and therefore the risk of acquiring the disease is pretty high. Sex. Although high incidence is found in males, females are more exposed to the risk of tetanus, especially during delivery or abortion, leading to puerperal tetanus. 
Males appear to be more sensitive to tetanus toxin than females. Occupation. Agricultural workers are at special risk because of their contact with the soil, and then rural-urban differences are that the incidence of tetanus is much lower in the urban than in the rural area. Immunity. No age is immune unless protected by previous immunization. The immunity resulting from two injections of tetanus toxoid is highly affected and lasts for several years. Immunity lasting for a few weeks, which is less than six months, can be transferred to the baby if the mother is immunized during pregnancy or if she already had a high level of immunity at the time she became pregnant. Deadness is one of the diseases in which herd immunity isn't going to protect the individual. Modes of transmission. Infection is acquired by contamination of wounds with tetanus spores. The range of injuries and accidents which may lead to tetanus uh, uh, are, include uh, trivial pinpricks, skin abrasions, puncture wounds, burns, human bites, animal bites as well as stings, unsterile surgery, intrauterine death, bowel surgery, dental extractions, injections, unsterile division of umbilical cord, compound fractures, otitis media, chronic skin, ulcer, uh, chronic skin ulcers, eye infections, and gangrenous limbs. Incubation period. The incubation period is usually 6 to 10 days. However, it may be as short as one day or as long as several months. Long incubation is probably explained by the spores lying dormant in the wounds. Incubation is also prolonged by profile access. Pathophysiology. Tetanus is an infectious disease caused by Clostridium tetani bacteria. Active anaerobacteria lead to the production of a tetanus toxin which enters the nervous system by lower motor neurons and travel up the spinal cord as well as the brainstem. The spores become active bacteria that spread in the body and make a poison known as the tetanus toxin, also known as the tetanospasmin. This poison blocks nerve signals from your spinal cord to your muscles, which is going to cause severe muscle spasms. The spasms are so powerful that they can tear the muscles or cause fractures of the spine. Clinical features. On average, it takes between 7 to 10 days after the infections for the symptoms of tetanus to develop. Through some, those symptoms can appear anywhere between 4 to 21 days after you've been infected. The first system of tetanus usually includes stiffness and mild spasms in the jaw and mu jaw muscles and those cramping. Sudden involuntary muscle tightening spasms occur in the stomach and painful muscle stiffness all over the body. As you can see in this picture, there is hyperextension and this is obstinosis. Trouble swallowing, jerking or staring, seizures, headache fever, sweating, changes in blood pressure, and fast heart rate are all parts of the common system, the common symptoms. Uh, the here you can see a picture of an individual with a locked jaw. Here there's intact sensorium, headache, difficulty swallowing, sore throat, irritability, tonic spasms. Prevention is only childhood immunization, spasms of the facial muscles where you can see the fixed smile, elevated eyebrows, which is all, uh, this is that characteristic appearance. Facial appearance, jaw stiffness, fear, restlessness, chills, exaggerated reflexes, and profuse sweating. Types of tetanus, traumatic. Trauma is a major and important cause of tetanus. Sometimes tetanus may result from the most trivial or even unnoticed wounds. Pure pearl tetanus causes abortion more frequently than a normal labor. A post-abortive uterus is a favorable site for the germination of tetanus spores. And then the other types include autogenic. Air may be, air may be a real portal of uh, entry. Foreign bodies such as infected pencils, matches, and beads may introduce infections. Autogenic tetanus is a pediatric problem, but sometimes it can occur in adults. Also, idiopathic in these cases, there is no definite history of sustaining an injury, some considered to be the result of microscopic trauma. Uh, so generally, the tetanus can be generalized, neonatal, cephalic, and what is local. Neonatal tetanus, tetanus neonatrum is a generalized tetanus that results from infection of a neonate. It primary, primarily occurs in underdeveloped countries and accounts for as many as one half of all neonatal deaths. The first signs of tetanus in a neonate is usually the inability to suck or uh, suck or breastfeed as well as excessive crying. Characteristic features include trismus, lockjaw, or inability to open the mouth, 
Rises sardonicus wars grin and raised eyebrows in obstinose and obstinosis, which is backward arching of the spine. Diagnosis, no specific laboratory tests ex exist for determining the diagnosis of deadness. The diagnosis is usually clinical based. However, the progenitus test kit can be used to determine whether an individual patient has a sufficient level of immunity to be protected against tetanus. It is used in Europe under the name of tetanus quick stick and has been validated, validated against ELISA measurement of serum tetanus antitoxin level. PQS takes 10 minutes to read at 100% specific for tetanus antibodies. The test is positive. You can assume the patient has protection against tetanus for at least five years. Sensitivity is 55% for titers of 0.01 per ml, but 100% if titers are greater than 0.5, which is five times greater than the accepted protective limit of 0.1 per ml. Levels of prevention. Tertiary prevention. <clears throat> Secondary prevention, primary and primordial prevention, starting with primordial and going up to tertiary. Health promotion. Tetanus germs can enter the skin through something as a small pinprick, but they prefer deeper wounds. Clean and Clean any wound you get with soap and water, then use an antiseptic. If the wound is deep or dirty, have your doctor check it out. If you hadn't had a tetanus booster in more than five years, you may need to get another booster. Be sure to give your vaccine director to your healthcare provider. Specific protection. Tetanus is best prevented by active immunization with tetanus. Um, with tetanus toxoid, it stimulates the production of prot protective antitoxin. The aim should be to vaccinate the entire community and ensure a protective level of antitoxin approximately 0.01 of serum throughout life. All persons should be immunized regardless of age. Tetanus vaccination schedule in Pakistan. The vaccine is administered to infants in five doses at two, four, six, and 18 months of age, and then again when the child is four to six years of age, followed by a booster shot every 10 years. It is recommended that pregnant women receive tetanus toxoid between uh, 27 and 37, 36 weeks of pregnancy. This is the schedule for vaccination, the TT1, which is during the first pregnancy, TT2, one month after the first dose, TT3, six months after the second dose, TT4, one year after the third dose, and TT5, one year after the fourth dose. People of all ages need vaccines, which is, which, as you can see, DTAP for young children to four and six months, 15 to, uh, and then 15 to 18 months, four to six years, DTAP for preteens, which is 11 through 12 years, and TD or TDAP for adults, which is every 10 years. Two preparations are available for active immunization, which include combined vaccine, DPT, and monovalent vaccines, plain or fluid form, formal toxoid or tetanus vaccine absorbed, which is PTAP or APT, combined vaccine. The primary course of immunization consists of three doses of DPT at intervals of four to eight weeks, starting at six weeks of age, followed by a booster of at 18 months of age. The second, uh, the second booster at five to six years of age and the third booster after 10 years of age, monovalent vaccine, a primary course of immunization consists of two doses of tetanus toxoid absorbed. Uh, each dose, 0.5 ml injected into the arm, give it at intervals of one to two months. The longer intervals between the two doses, the better is the immune response. The first booster dose should be given a year after the initial two doses. Purified tetanus toxoid should be stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, and it should not be allowed to freeze at any time. Passive immunization, temporary protection against tetanus can be provided by the injection of the human tetanus hyperimmunoglobulin, for ATS, human tetanus hyperimmunoglobulin is the best prophylactic to use. The dose is for all ages and is about 250 IU. It does not cause serum reactions. It gives a longer passive protect, uh, protection for up to 30 days or more compared with 7 to 10 days 
per horse ADS. Active and passive immunization, simultaneous active and passive immunization is widely carried out in non-immune persons. The patient is given 1,500 units of ADS or 250 units of human immunoglobulin in one arm and 0.5 ml of absorbed tetanus toxoid into another arm or the gluteal region. This should be followed by six weeks. This should follow six weeks later by another dose of 0.5 ml of tetanus toxoid and a third dose one year later. Adults should get diphtheria tetanus booster every 10 years throughout their life. This is true even if you don't have a wound. Getting a TD booster every 10 years applies if you have a minor clean wound also. Antibiotics. Single intramuscular injection of 1.2 mega units of a long, long, long acting penicillin, example benzathine penicillin, will provide sustained concentration of the drug for three to four weeks, which is sufficient to kill any vegetative forms of tetanus that may emerge from the sporulating stage. But tetanus also, penicillin also has no effects on the tetanus spores. Prevention of neonatal tetanus. In an unimmunized pregnant woman, two doses of tetanus toxoid should be given, the first as early as possible during pregnancy and the second at least a month later and at least three weeks before delivery. In immunized pregnant women, a booster dose is considered sufficient. There is no need for a booster at every consecutive pregnancy because of the risk of hyperimmunization as well as the side effects. Secondary prevention. Tetanus has no definitive cure, but it can be treated with surgery to clean an infective wound. It's also treated with anti-tetanus and anti-spasm medicines and antibiotics. And sometimes we need a ventilator until someone can breathe well on their own. Tetanus is treated in the ICU, and even with modern care medicine, tetanus can be fatal. From 1 in 10 to 1 in 5 people, uh, people may die from it. Complications can include breathing problems, broken bones, blood clots, and pneumonia. And for those who survive, recovery can take several months. Nerve damage may even take longer to heal, or sometimes it may even be permanent. Recent updates. Management and Prevention of Tetanus Abstract The World Health Organization was committed to eliminating neonatal tetanus by 1995. Three years after this date, the infection killed over 400,000 babies a year, even through a safe and effective vaccine that had been available for most of the century. The frequency of tetanus in the developing world epitomizes the healthcare disparity between the developed and the developing world. Executively, the, pri uh, the priority of medical profession must be prevention with the development of simpler immunization schedules with longer protection. And consecutively, the purpose of this collective review is to provide an overview to the management of tetanus as well as to review the immunization strategy that will prevent this potentially deadly illness. Clostridium tetani is widespread in the feces of domestic animals and humans, while the spores of Clostridium tetani are abundant in the soil and in the environment surrounding the habitation of humans and animals. Tetanus usually follows deep penetrating wounds where anaerobic bacterial growth is facilitated. Three basic forms of tetanus may be distinguished, local, cephalic, as well as generalized. Tetanus in pregnancy. Tetanus remains a leading cause of maternal and neonatal morbidity and mortality in developing countries. It is caused by the release of two toxins released by Clostridium tetani, a non-invasive gram-positive anaerobic bacillus. Tenanospasmin is taken out by the neuronal end plates and prevents neurotransmitter release at the synaptic junction. This leads to spasms and is irreversible. Recovery requires the formation of new neurons and this may take Requires formation of new neurons and may take many months. Generalized muscle spasm, respiratory compromise, and an autonomic dysfunction are all common clinical manifestations. Diagnosis is based mainly on history and clinical examination. The management of the pregnant woman is similar to the non pregnant individual. The main objective are prompt prevention of further toxin absorption, wound deprivement, antibiotic therapy, and aggressive supportive care. Primary and secondary prevention protocols are important worldwide because tetanus is a preventable disease. The tetanus toxoid vaccine can be given in pregnancy. MCQs. Question number one. A patient 
ABC was admitted in a psychiatry ward and all of a sudden he started to behave abnormal and had sudden contractions in his body. Doctor on duty made clinical diagnosis of tetanus, which among the following is not a symptom of tetanus. A. Decreased heart rate. B. Profuse swelling. C. Difficulty swallowing. D. Muscle spasm or E. Fever. Okay, the answer to this is A, decreased heart rate. This is not a common symptom of tetanus. Question number two, a farmer was working in a rice field barefoot. Suddenly, he got a minor injury on his left foot and there was mild bleeding from the site of injury. What is the best approach to be taken during this situation? A, immediately go to tertiary care. B, wash and take some rest. C, wash wound and go to nearby doctor. Ignore this little wound or D, e, apply mud on this wound. Okay, the answer to this is to C, wash wound and go to nearby doctor. Question three, females are exposed to the risk of tetanus, especially during delivery or abortion, leading to puerperal tetanus. When, when can a woman with tetanus pass this disease to another person? A, after delivering placenta. B, from an open wound. C, while the skin is visible. D, when fever is settled. Or E, when she is fully immunized. Okay, so the answer is 3B from an open wound. Question four. The calculator's test kit can be used to determine whether an individual patient has a sufficient level of immunity to be protected from cancer. This test is called the PQS, which is used mainly in developed countries. Regarding tetanus quick sticks, which option is correct? A, it takes one hour to interpret. If the test is positive, the patient has contracted tetanus. They are 100% specific for tetanus antibodies. D, they are 80% sensitive for titers of 0 0.01 uh, per ml. And or E, 100% sensitive if the titers are less than 0 0.5. C? Yes, that answer is C. Question five. A person after falling from a tree got injury on the big toe. He is at great risk of getting tetanus, an acute disease induced by the exotoxin of Clostridium tetani. Tetanus is best prevented by active immunization. This immunization drug belongs to which group? A. Live attenuated vaccine. B. Heat killed vaccine. C. Formalin killed vaccine. D. Toxoid vaccine. Or E. Messenger RNA. D. Toxoid. Yes. Question 6. Tetanus is a very dangerous infection caused by Clostridium tetani. Very rarely a person can get exposed to that through intact skin. Uh, once exposed to the infection, once exposed to the infection, a person can develop these diseases and, in, in, in as little as how many days? A. The first day. B. Four days. C. Six days. D. Eight days. Or E. Ten days. C. The answer is you can get it on the first day. Question seven. A child was born to an unimmunized woman who later developed neonatal tetanus and died within a week after birth. The woman was immunized later on. Which among the following is recommended for her subsequent pregnancies to be prevented from tetanus? 
A, two-dose vaccine before delivery. B, tetanus toxoid before last 30 days of delivery. C, no vaccine is required. D, booster should be given at once. Or E, vaccine just after delivery. B. Uh, D, booster should be given at once. Eight, a newborn was born... A newborn was born to pediatric emergency of Mayo Hospital after having difficulty breathing and difficulty breathing and muscle spasm. He was admitted in the hospital with clinical diagnosis of tetanus neonatrium and doctors decided to give him mechanical ventilation support system. Diagnosed as neonatal tetanus, what was the first sign of this disease in the newborn? A. Force grin. B. Raised eyebrows. C. Decreased cry because of tense muscles. D. Inability to suck breast milk or E. Locked jaws. Locked jaws. You know, it's in the new date, it's inability to suck breast milk. So the answer is D. Question nine. A cold chain is a set of rules and procedures that ensure the proper storage and distribution of vaccines to health services from national to local level. An unbroken cold chain is an uninterrupted series of refrigerated production, storage, and distribution activities. For tetanus, toxoid, the appropriate temperature should be A, 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, B, 2 degrees, 2 to 8 degrees Fahrenheit, C, 2, 8 to 10 degrees Celsius, D, freezing is ideal, or E, no cold chain is required. C, no, the answer is A, 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Question 10. A single intramuscular injection of 1.2 mega units of long-acting penicillin will provide sustained will provide a sustained concentration of the drug for three to four weeks and might help in relieving the symptoms of the disease. Regarding its mode of action, what is true? A. Penicillin acts directly on the spores of Clostridium. B. Penicillin is given to reduce superimposed bacterial infection. C. It acts on vegetative forms of Clostridium. D. It acts on superimposed fungal growth. Or E. It acts very fast to control lockjaw. B. And the answer is C. This is the key. These are my references. And this is the link to the YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Rida. Very nice presentation. Thank you so much.